Two linemen and a former accredited electrician were arrested during an entrapment operation conducted by the National Bureau of Investigation Central Visayas for accepting fees ranging between 5,000 and 15,000 from consumers who wanted their properties to be energized immediately. The arrested individuals were identified as Maximo Baguio Marriott Jr., Brian Borlao Sakmar, and Doroteo Valmoria Oxetero Jr. Sakmar and Oxetero are employees of Visayan Electric Company's accredited subcontractor Roach, while Marriott was Veco's former accredited electrician. According to Attorney Renan Oliva, Veco has sent them a request last January 11 to conduct an investigation on the complaints of extortion allegedly conducted by linemen tasked to restore power in their franchise area. Last January 25, they conducted an entrapment operation in Upper Mohon, Talisay City, wherein they witnessed how the arrested linemen asked for 10,000 pesos in exchange for power restoration and even requested for an additional 5,000 pesos. That, that is why we are, the investigation is continuing. Kids are involved, diba? Okay, uh, what indication ng grupo? Because two accredited linemen, kuyog aning ex-accredited electrician, Nga dili bilong sa contractor sa Beko, lahi. Nga nung nagkakuyog mo ni, nga nung teamwork mo ni. May buong ka ba? And why is he bringing with him billing statements sa consumers? No, daghan kayo na. Di ba na allowed? Ex-electrician siya. Di man siya sa billing department. NBI filed charges against the three for violating the anti-pilferage of electricity and theft transmission lines or materials. VECO's Chief Operating Officer, Engineer Raul Lucero, clarified that they would never receive money for power restoration. In fact, they already urged the public to report any cases of extortion to their office. He added that they will conduct their own investigation on the matter. Dili, 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 taga VECO, pero kauba na mo nga laing abuitis ka kampane, nga dibayad kuno sila para lang ma-energize. O niya, niingon ka nga, ingon ta nga, Grabe sad mo, beko ba man unta mo, nga nung mudawat man mo. So, ingon anak nga klase nga mga komentaryo, medyo masakitan sad ta. Plus, ang ato pong mga tao na nagtinarong sa ilang trabaho, medyo maapektuhan po sila ba nga. Wala man mi mudawat, wala man mi mangayo. Mauna nga, amo ni siyang gitik in uh, seriously, kay makadamage mang good sa moral sa atong mga tao nga naghago karon no nga almost 12 to 16 hours nagtrabaho kada adlaw para lang maka-energize and then makadawat tag ingon ani nga komentaryo Meanwhile Oliva said they are looking into arresting more individuals for extortion complaints This has been Theresa Mi Uy from my TV Cebu